Hey y'all, I'm up here at uh, Crooked Lake, right? That's where I'm at. Yep. Crooked Lake in Indiana. Angola, Indiana. And uh, my buddy Tim, he's got some crazy stuff. And one of the things he's got is a uh, jet airplane houseboat. So that's all I'll tell you. Let me get this camera turned around and we'll take a look at it. Tim, how are you, brother? Hey, how you doing, Scotty? Not too bad. <laughs> yeah, all the yeah, cool high rides you got, right? And this is, I, I'm, I'm running down the go-kart in the jet airplane boat. What's going on with this? Well, it's just one of I, I, my body shop's close to a scrapyard, and I saw this thing going by on a trailer one day, and I thought, man, I got to do something with it. I chased the guy down and bought it, whatever the scrap price was going to pay him for it, and I thought, man, I got to make something out of it. I originally was going to put something with wheels under it, and I thought, nah, this thing needs something else. So we, we went, and at the time, the uh, Captain Sully had put the right the plane down in the Hudson Tell River, the Hudson, and I yeah. thought, you know what, this is perfect. So I, I called it the Hudson Shuttle, and... We cut it down. I built built a deck for it. I scrapped out an old 42 foot uh, Chris Craft boat that was just beyond its its years, and we used the rear deck. It's all teak and mahogany. And we put four pontoons under it. The two center ones are a little shortened, so that it's got 165 horse Merc Cruiser outdrive. It sits tucks up underneath. You don't even see the motor. Uh, all the controls and everything are, are off that. Uh, off that old Chris Craft. And, Holy uh, God. Just made it a, a what 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 plane was it? What jet was it? It was actually a 73 Sabre liner. It's real similar to a Learjet at the time in its day. And uh, I really wanted to find the tail for it, but he'd already scrapped it. But it was just Man. something you couldn't just let that thing get crushed. What do you got? Guns it's down just, here? Oh, those are water cannons. Water uh, cannons. Yeah, yeah. We we hooked up some water cannons. Uh, originally, I was going to shoot them straight forward, but you know, I. Somebody's going to hit in the eye, so we decided to we just lob them a little bit. And they go out about 35 to 45 foot, depending on the on the pump. And then it's yeah. legal because you put all your running lights and all that kind oh, of stuff everything, on it. Yeah. Everything's legal. It's great for fishing. It's got big floodlights in the front. And, uh, Can I go on it? Oh, absolutely. Got the ship's wheel off the old, uh, the old Chris Craft. I mean, and all the controls, everything. It's, it's, and you can tell it was an old plane. Oh, no, there's no doubt it's a plane. Yeah, yeah. It. The aesthetics of it, and I mean, it's just kind of cool to set up here and visualize yourself as being in a plane. That's, you gotta smoke a lot of weed for that. Oh, yeah, somebody's got to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta be flying high, if you know what I mean, <laughs> to be thinking this thing's a real plane. <laughs> no. I don't know my friends. Well, I got you. Know? you. I got you. Yeah, no. no. This is all off of the old uh, 42 foot uh, Chris Craft. It's got a teak swim platform. and because you didn't just right you just didn't get this fuselage piece and bolt it to an old houseboat oh, no, you had. You had, built everything. Yeah, we had to build the, everything. I bought three different pontoons, and you know we built our own deck. We used the, the railing from this. It was a, a you just change your mind every day with whatever parts you have to build it, and that's kind of how it went. You know, I ran across a guy had a scrapped out uh, IO, and it's got a 165 horse group front cruiser. And a, Swim yeah. platform and everything. Yeah, swim platform. You got power trim. I mean, it, and it, it's not something you're going to beat everybody on the lake with because it's just an depends old boat, on what the know. game is. It's just something to cruise around in, and, and everything's tucked in nice and tight. Dude, it's you do great functional. work. It's you do totally good work functional. when you're just screwing around. Oh, that's the best part. When you're just easy goofing work. with people, yeah. that, you still do good work. That's just the easy part. And it's going to be in a wedding next week. Uh, there's a couple going to get married on the lake next Saturday, so we're going to going to use this for the wedding party Man. and take them out. And it's you, you can run in it, but you can't hide because everybody knows where you're at. You know. Yeah, well, you're not going to get confused. I'll tell you that. People are going to be like the jet houseboat, arky dokey. Yeah. I don't know how this qualifies as a hot rod, but I, I guess anybody that's into cars or anything different, yeah, this yeah. kind of puts. Puts you right in the field. That's why, well, the thing about it is because I love to have my subscribers turn on my channel every day and go, what? Yeah. You know, and this is what? And it's autom it's it's motor related and like I say, boats, trains, planes, whatever. If it's cool, it's cool. And brother, that is cool. Yep. Dude, I appreciate it, man. Thanks so much for building that, Tim. Thank you. That is the coolest thing in the world. It's fun build. Yeah, it's folks. Care. When it's done, it's done. That's right. <laughs> folks, here you go. There's the uh, jet plane houseboat from. Uh, Crooked Lake, Indiana. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you.